welcome back to the channel, my FX traders. If you're new here, this is a weekly FX market forecast on CMG RR Space trading channel. So every week we give you um, a market forecast of how the FX market is um, has a high potential of what's moving, the direction, the general movement, either up or down, or um, a consolidation. And this week will be week 41. Now, the recent week was week 40, and nothing really changed. The um, analysis, or yes, the forecast still holds valid. Why? Because there has been a number of what um, consolidation, a stretched, um, yeah, protracted uh, period of consolidation, and nothing has really changed. Of course, you remember I told you um, uh, there was a lot of, in fact, uh, there were a lot of indecisions in the market when it comes to uh, DXY and the Japanese yen and even um, stretching to gold, right? So here, basically, we look at JPY and then DXY, and then later, uh, we look at um, the gold, right? So um, this week, um, analysis, we are not going to say much because there was um, the consolidation was that long. So I will um, hit the grounds running by focusing on the pending week, the week ahead, not worrying ourselves with a week up because nothing really actually happened. I didn't really trade, in fact, yes. So um, in the course of the week, yeah, the initial uh, setup that I gave for um, week four, uh, uh, 40, um, we, uh, yes, I did some uh, analysis. Now this uh, parabola uh, shape on DXY, um, if you don't know uh, these types of um, patterns, you have to check in this uh, channel or video for that kind of patterns. What um, I, 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 I do on um, 4H, um, expecting that price will hit this uh, region, rectangular purple region, and then we'll start um, selling a small uh, horizontal line. Then we should be looking at what um, a rally up. But notwithstanding, it moved above it a bit, but the momentum or the volatility um, isn't that much uh, strong there. So we are still in the course of the week or the pending week, market will move past it and then move, going, start going up. But not forgetting the price just around the MA, yes, um, the, or the exponent, exponent, exponential, whatever case it is, even though there's a difference the experience here. So um, even though price is around that place, it means that still there's quite a lot of indecisions around that, that, that side. Just looking at that particular, um, um, the past week, you're not going back too far. The consolidation is actually happening there also. And Generally, looking at the market, market still looking uh, at a consolidation. The same thing is applicable when you move to the, I think the daily time frame. Looking at the, the, the top down analysis in um, a region, some will call it um, the, the, the supply zone. That's the market was moving down, but the kind of pattern for me, they kind of look confusing. Of course, we see an inverted hammer forming. The last uh, point of interest that we are looking at, the recent one looks still like a doji in the size there. And looking at generally at that uh, region, which is the very encouraging and very nice looking like is the market is going to drop. But generally, like we said, the market is bullish. So it means that it's like I'm contradicting myself. No, I know what I'm saying. Because one could look at, could look at it like um, from the bullish sense of view, right? A, a bully, a bully. Another an analyst can also look, look at it from another perspective, looking at it like um, um, a, bull, a, a bearish for them, probable. You understand? So um, now the week ahead of us, looking at the fundamentals, the calendar, um, yes, the event, you have a general view of the whole, the whole week. You lose um, a mixed up, bullish year, and then um, bearish day. So, in fact, the course of the week will decide um, how we are going to uh, see it. So, once it doesn't really look good, but we can actually decide if you are patient for that matter, and then we see how the market will actually move. But as for that period, past any of this region, leave this region, whether it's bullish or so bullish in that one, one sense, and then at the same time, bearish in another sense. So it just left with a much uh, be successful. That is that is dependent. You understand? So that is what I see here. Even moving to the because the weekly analysis is based on, is based on what looking at the week um, calendar, looking at from there coming down, right? But we are at another point, moving close towards the resistance level. So we could actually move to this place and start coming down, or better still, just here and uh, consolidate. At the moment, we are in the period of consolidation. So it's just a matter of checking your risk management, and then we can actually what sorry and decide at the end of what. The week or the day, each of the days. I am quite um, unsure when it comes to the D DXY, even though it looks bullish from the basic point of view. Now, let's move to um, 
the the JPY, right? It's like a bullish because looking at this, uh, uh, in fact, still on DXY, looking at this purple area, right here. Now my point is, if you move past this purple area, then, and will be what focus on what uh, the very uh, the bullish aspect of what the market, right? So let me just put this thing here, swing high, yes, and then we know what to do next. Else, still so now moving on to JPY. Now, JPY is still uh, bearish, right? Bearish, but in a consolidated form. And the consolidation has happened for a longer time. In fact, if you're looking at here, last week, I was expecting that markets really moving up, but you even get to this level before probably consolidation uh, moving sideways. And this can be quite what costly if you're impatient and then rush into the market. So that was what was happening. And the market has moved back into this. Uh, the ME still feels relaxed. When ME, any of them is very relaxed, that means that consolidation is not going to end any moment from now. That is what's going to happen. So you enter here, realize that you enter here uh, in what loss. The next moment you are in blues. The next moment you are, you, are, you, are, you are in red. So this is what's going to happen. It's going to play with your emotions. So I think you have to be very uh, patient with that. Price actions. That's one thing I've studied about JPY markets or the, uh, what? The, the economy. That is what happens all the time. That is what happens. So now it's just a matter of uh, catching um, the the initial move, that would be a problem. So that is what I think we have to be patient with. So just, just wait and then let's catch the initial move. That is what uh, is, that is my strategy actually on JPY. I lose, your emotions will be, <laughs> will be tossed here and there. So that's what I'm actually trying to catch. But now what I can say so far is that price has a tendency of moving to the center area, I call the support level, can move here. And then we look at what the, another factor uh, for the sellers, then we can move down to this area before gapping up. So that's what, that's what I'm, I'm expecting. Sorry, that's what I'm expecting. Else, price can get here and then start going up. Back up, maybe bypassing this uh, a minute. Let's see this area, right? If you move past this area, then maybe the bullish number of what factors that are going to happen, indecisions here and there. So once again, I would say that you have to be very patient with the JPY. Trading it, you have to be extra patient on JPY. So um, generally, or basically, that's what I have to say. I don't do analysis on them. I only do them when I need to trade. But I'm very biased on them. So when I see it, that's what I trade. But I don't do it in the course of the week. Sometimes I don't even do analysis. I just put in the signals. And then if you're interested, you can hop on. So that is what I have to say, basically, on uh, uh, it, it, yes, the, the stock indices, PS signal. By the moment, last week, it was very, what, bullish. We have 1.03% bullish. So let's see if this is going to be, uh, be, be, be held on to or reprise with stuff. So... Um, don't forget that on this channel also, we are providing exploring the financial markets, providing uh, training on how to trade on Binance. You can actually trade on Binance and be profitable. You don't have to worry yourself trading what, uh, uh, bringing on board uh, how to trade the sports and then futures, right? And then there's an um, uh, upcoming what, um, academy on cryptocurrency, having the knowledge from the beginners to in, in, uh, advanced, right? So stay tuned, explore the channel, like and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye for now.